Fox has now agreed to turn over additional documents to Smartmatic, that's the voting technology company, suing the right-wing network for $2.7 billion over its promotion of Trump's lies about the 2020 presidential election. CNN's Oliver Darcy is digging into all of this for us. Oliver, what are you learning about these documents? That's right. Well, Fox News agreeing to turn over additional documents on Fox chairman Rupert Murdoch, as well as other top executives as part of Smartmatic's uh, $2.7 billion lawsuit against the right wing talk channel. Fox lawyers saying in court today that they will be turning these documents over as soon as possible. And this comes after the judge uh, broadened discovery in the case and said that he wanted Fox to turn over additional documents as well, uh, documents related to the 2020 ratings and documents related to the internal fact-checking team that, uh, that Fox News had in place. Uh, this comes after Smartmatic accused Fox or said that they were, they were noticing gaps in discovery process. And so they were asking the judge for these documents. Um, Fox, on its, uh, for its part, they're saying that they, they've complied fully with the, uh, with the discovery process and that they've turned over more than 30,000 documents already as part of this case. Uh, and they're also saying that they believe that they will win in a trial, which is set at this point for early 2025, Wolf. Oliver, I know you've also been looking at the ratings for Fox's 8 p.m. Eastern hour after Tucker Carlson's dismissal. That was the hour he used to have his show on Fox. A really astonishing ratings decline after Tucker Carlson was fired from Fox News in the 8 p.m. hour. Uh, Wolf, last night uh, in the 8 p.m. hour in the key advertiser coveted 25 to 54 demo, Fox News suffered the lowest ratings it has had or delivered the lowest ratings it has had since pre-9-11. I mean, that's a really astonishing uh, a feat for the network after uh, losing Carlson. And what we're also noticing, and this is what set alarm bells off uh, after the 2020 election among Fox executives is that their competitor, Newsmax, a much smaller competitor, but a competitor nonetheless in the space, they're seeing an incredible surge in the ratings at the same time. So while Fox is dipping, Newsmax is up almost four or five times the ratings they were posting uh, before Tucker Carlson was, was fired. And so I imagine that Fox executives are looking at this and they're, they're probably a little unnerved at the moment at what they're seeing, whether this trend holds up you know, we'll wait and see, but it, it's definitely something that uh, that people are paying close attention to over at the Avenue of America's uh, headquarters for Fox News. Yeah, very interesting indeed. Oliver Darcy, thank you very much. Uh, let's continue the conversation. Joining me now, Jerry Filipatos. He's the attorney for the former Fox producer, Abby Grossberg, who's actually filed a pair of lawsuits against Fox, alleging sexism and accusing the company of coercing her into giving misleading testimony. Uh, Jerry, thanks once again for joining us. I know thanks your, your client, on, Abby, says she has, what, 90 audio tapes from her time over at Fox. She's been subpoenaed in the Smartmatic case. I know that. Will you actually turn those tapes over to Smartmatic? Approximately 90 tapes. Wolf, we're still in the process of going through them all. Uh, and we have already received the subpoena from Smartmatic, and we intend to be fully cooperative with that subpoena. Um, I will just note on what Oliver just said, um, it, it, uh, you know, my, my short-term memory is not that great given my age, but I remember a couple of weeks ago, Fox said something similar about uh, believing that it was going to win the Dominion lawsuit, and then it settled it for $787 million. I also remember that, um, that uh, Fox took a ridiculous position for which it was excoriated uh, by the judge in Delaware, Judge Davis, that uh, that Rupert Murdoch was not, in fact, uh, in an operative role in the uh, in the Fox News uh, operation, and that's what caused uh, a hearing to 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 lead to the appointment of a special master. That and the evidence that we submitted in that lawsuit, and it's only after that that uh, experience that smart uh, that uh, Fox seems to be singing a new tune today. I know you've already released part of a tape uh, involving a conversation with Senator Ted Cruz and Fox host Maria Bartiromo in which Cruz outlined his plan to delay certification of the 2020 presidential election. Cruz tweeted this about that. Let me read it. There it's up on the screen. Uh, uh, this uh, MSNBC is breathlessly reporting that I secretly said in a phone call 
the exact same thing I said on national television the next morning and then said again on the Senate floor four days later. How do you respond to Senator Cruz? Well, I, I, I'll respond to Senator Cruz by saying that what the American people didn't know is that months earlier, in another tape that we released, Senator Cruz admitted that uh, the, the, the claims of vo voter fraud, uh, widespread wa voter fro fraud, excuse me, that would cause the election to tip in favor of uh, then-President Trump and, instead of uh, President Biden, uh, was was not uh, was ephemeral that that there wasn't any such evidence and uh, that he had he hoped that maybe they'd find some but he didn't think there was any so I think uh, I think the statements speak for themselves and I think uh, the 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 tapes that we've released uh, really are very good proof of the the hand in glove relationship between uh, the Republican Party uh, Republican operatives. Um, uh, members of the Trump uh, campaign and elected officials who were uh, fomenting the big lie and uh, the big lie turned into the big grift and shockingly uh, even after January 6th many at Fox News including the the recently departed Tucker Carlson um, kept that up just for ratings and I, I'll also just say something about what Oliver said about the ratings uh, dipping after Mr. Carlson left, uh, I would. Uh, I, 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 you might be surprised that I that I hear that as bad news. I hear it as bad news because whenever Fox's ratings go down, they get desperate and they tell more lies. Jerry Filipatos, uh, thanks so much for joining us. We'll continue this conversation for sure down the road. Appreciate it.